Billy Lawrence Chevrolet is your home for great deals and real savings on both new and pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Right now, choose their great selection of GM-certified vehicles that come with a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. And their service department has trained technicians that can service and repair your vehicle. Hurry into Billy Lawrence Chevrolet on Highway 431 South. Okay, <clears throat> we call this meeting to order. We have invocation by Pastor Gary Flemings from Eagle, Eagle, Eagle Rest Ministries and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you that uh, you give us the privilege of living in this country, in this city. Thank you for the leaders and we pray that you give them great wisdom and understanding. You said, Lord, that when we fear you, when we trust you, when we reverence you, that you'll give us wisdom. Thank you for Jesus giving his life as a sacrifice for us. Thank you for him giving us the Holy Spirit that we don't have to muddle our way along and try to find our own, the best way we can find it through trusting you. And uh, we pray uh, for this uh, group of uh, leaders of this city that you would give them great wisdom and understanding that fear you, trust you with all their heart and not lean to their understanding. And you said in all our ways when we trust you to direct our paths. And we pray for that, for this council, for this, this uh, city. And we pray for protection for all those who uh, work to protect the citizens and help those who are cannot help themselves. We pray blessings upon them. And we thank you for giving us a way to pray, to come to you through Christ. And we thank you that Christ has given us a prayer to pray. And so let's pray that prayer together as we follow Christ's uh, teaching about prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Properly moved and second. Are there any questions? All in favor, let it be known by the word I. Aye. Aye. Those opposed, this minute. Ayes have it. Motion carried. Next, the consent agenda. The consent agenda has been distributed to each of the council members for your reading and your interpretation. On the consent agenda, we have three items. We have uh, the minutes of June the 5th, 2017. We have a prepaid claim docket dated May 2017 in the amount of $950,893.86. And we have a claim docket dated June 14th, 2017 in the amount of $61,000. Forty-five dollars and fifty-one cent. Need a motion. Make a motion to accept the consent agenda. So moved. All right, it's been moved and second. Uh, are there any questions? All in favor, let it be known by the word aye. 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 
Nate. Ayes have it. Motion carried. <coughs> okay, Mayor. All right, good evening. Good evening. Oh, had a nice visit last week with Mr. Cooper, State Island Director. Came down last Monday and we went over some of the projects that, that uh, he's helped us with. And uh, One that we're working on right now is the extension of Dell Road. Uh, had a few complications with it, but we'll work through those. And, and uh, when you have complications, it costs more money, and, and uh, that's why he was here. So uh, uh, he's agreed to give the money to the city and let us do it as a city project, which which is a lot less expensive than, than doing an ALDOT, an ALDOT project where you have to have uh, all the engineering and inspections and that type of thing. It can run the cost of the project up about 15%. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, so him giving us, uh, giving the, giving the city the money and allowing us to do the project will save us quite a bit of money. And and uh, uh, we're in the process of doing an agreement now with the state. Uh, and as soon as we get that agreement, we'll do a, we'll, we'll bid that that job out. We're trying to tie it into Dell Road, the uh, the uh, industrial access grant that we got there with Arch Drive, <coughs> which is going into uh, Carbo Ceramics. Uh, we had an issue there also. Uh, they had some soil problems, but they've worked through those projects, that, those, those problems, and, and hopefully we can tie all this together and try to get it all done at one time. So, so uh, uh, that's that's good news. Also, uh, Shalala, uh, we'll have a pre-construction on that. Will it be this week? Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, and we'll, we'll get on. We'll get on. Uh, We'll get on that that project also. That's uh, to refresh your memory. We're going to take the sidewalk out on the north side of Shawala, widen that street, and pull it back off the walking trail. It's a dangerous street the way it is right now, and uh, there's a sidewalk there. I, I've never seen anybody on it, so we're going to take that sidewalk out and kind of slide the road over just a little bit. And that'll make it a lot safer. So uh, we also uh, uh, the playground of dreams. Has got their their ribbon cutting uh, Friday in the key. Yes. And we were in this million dollars we got from Al Dot. We, we we had a, enough money to actually pave the road down in down in uh, the park down there in front of the playground of the rings and fix it. It was in pretty bad disrepair. We got some big big ball tournaments coming over the next few weeks, and we wanted to have it looking nice for not only the our visitors, but our, 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 our citizens too. When you when you go down there with the, the new playground, if you haven't been down there to look at it, it's really nice. And uh, fixing that street and the little parking lot across the street from it is kind of uh, put, the, put the icing on the, on the already pretty cake. That's right. So so that that uh, uh that that looks good. And that's complete. Uh, you have a you have a fish on your agenda tonight. And uh, uh, that project is a result of, of uh, a meeting I had with the state tourism director, Lisa Tail. And uh, we were talking about ways to market e fall, and he came up with the idea for um, a fish that people could come and have photo ops with, since that's, you know, fish, fish is pretty important in e fall. Uh, he gave us $10,000 to put toward that fish. and. And we, we we went out and tried to find people to build something like that, and we found some folks. And of course, we bid it out, and we didn't get any other response to the bids. And the bid is twenty-three thousand, but it looks very professional. It's not hokey looking. Uh, Lease and Tail has given us with this ten thousand dollars. He's given us almost forty thousand dollars in the last two years. And uh, I'm going to go ask him for some more money. He gave us he gave us three thousand dollars for a historic marker. For Tom Mann, everyone knows what the nice historic markers look like. They're they're, they're expensive. Uh, uh, he likes he likes historic markers, so we're going to go back and, and we like them too. We're going to go back and and, uh, and ask him for a historic marker for Marilyn McCoo and Martha Reeves. That's two other famous Ufolians that that uh, uh, you know we'd like to uh, have some recognition of them being here over the years. So, so people come into town and they, they look at these historic markers and, and, uh, and uh, that's, that's, that's two 
Anybody know who those people are? Miles. Miles and Yeah, you are. <laughs> Marilyn McCoo, some of you are not old enough to remember this, but uh, the Fifth Dimension is a, is a group from the 70s. They had, I don't know, a dozen hits probably. Uh, uh, and she, she was right here in Eufaula. Uh, and then uh, Martha Reeves was with the uh, the band is it the band the band the band the band the band yeah. and uh, they they had they had a bunch of hits so so uh, uh, she was raised right here in New Fall so so we want to uh, uh, recognize the fact that they were here and people would come and hopefully see those historic markers but but uh, but anyhow that's uh, uh, if you look at what Lee has done for the for the town over the last two years twenty five thousand dollars of this money was for the major league fishing event that just just finished up on television uh, it worked out to be 90 it's going to be with the reruns it'll be 90 hours of network television and it cost the restrictive tourism committee in the chamber fifteen thousand dollars so that's about three dollars per minute uh, actually two dollars and forty five cents I, I, I figured, figured wrong. two dollars and forty five cents a minute is what it cost us for network television uh, and the Major League Fishing was, is the number one show on the Outdoor Channel. So, so if you didn't get a chance to watch it over the last six, seven weeks, uh, it'll, it'll air again later in the year. But uh, uh, yesterday was the final on, on the Outdoor Channel, or this weekend they aired the finals. And uh, Jacob Wheeler won with 30 pounds and, and uh, they had a zone in Calvary Creek where the championship was and he won a, a silver cup about that tall. So it was, Pretty neat. But, uh, well, uh, I think the Facebook post and likes and everything on all their posts is well over 150,000 already. So there's a lot of exposure for the city. But Lee Sintel contributed 25,000 of that of that 40,000 that it took to get that event here. So so the cost of our restricted tourism was only uh, two dollars and something a minute. So that's pretty good. Hard hard to buy network television for two dollars and 45 cents a minute. Um, we have a new HR director starting tomorrow, Elizabeth Conklin, uh, very qualified. She's an Auburn grad uh, with an HR degree, and she's been working for the last 10 years in Columbus. With a, uh, she's actually been managing a doctor's uh, clinic up there with about 55 employees, but uh, we're excited about her coming on board. So that's all I have. Any questions about anything, the fish or anything? All right, thank you. Okay, <clears throat> thank you, ma'am. Next on the uh, agenda, we have uh, for the visitors, Miss Ann Shepard and Mr. What is his name? Richard. Richard. Is he here too? Yes, sir. Okay, come forward, please. Um. Y'all probably don't recognize me, it's usually Joe, y'all get to see. Um, as of two weeks ago, Joe is no longer with us, she quit. So, um, now you get to see my face all the time. But uh, I'm giving y'all the update of 2016-2017 numbers for the shelter. Um, most of these numbers are combined for the year where we started today. Um, from you follow, we have 156 um, animals pulled. From Phoenix City, we have 152 um, adoptions uh, from our facility this past year were 92. Um, adoptions in general for 2006 were 122. Um, we currently have 48 animals in care. That includes cats, dogs, kittens, everything. Um, we, in January, when the tornadoes hit Albany, we went over there, that's my hometown, and we brought back 43 animals. Um, we just wanted to give them some relief because what happens is all the animals that are currently in the shelter are the first ones to die when the ones that are displaced start coming in from the victims. So we wanted to give them a little bit of relief. We also took um, a couple of thousand pounds of food over there for them, and we were the only um, rescue or any kind of animal facility to reach out to the um, victims over there. So you follow and I got a little bit of recognition for that um, because we didn't nobody else did anything but us. And um, 
in the past two weeks we've had a lot of work put in because um, I just kind of went in and <laughs> there was stuff that needed to be done so we've been working really hard these past two weeks so anything the place to eat in Eupala is the Cajun Corner. The Cajun Corner, located at 114 North Eupala Avenue, is a place where you can let the good times roll and enjoy the taste of Louisiana. Try our signature New Orleans stuffed fish with your choice of red snapper, grouper, or tilapia. Taste the Creole flavor of our Mardi Gras stuffed shrimp or North Shore pasta. At the Cajun Corner, 114 North Eupala Avenue, we've got it all. From cocktails, appetizers, amazing salads, steaks, seafood, and pasta to tempting desserts you just can't resist. Y'all come have a ball at the Cajun Corner and let us serve you like the kings and queens of Mardi Gras. Okay, next we come to ordinance, ordinances and resolution. The first one on the uh, agenda is resolution 31-2017. Uh, <clears throat> That's talking about uh, the widening on Highway uh, 95 from Henry County all the way to Barberton and Henry County land. Uh, anyone have a question on that? <coughs> Okay, with that in mind, we need a motion and a second to adopt resolution. I make the motion to adopt resolution 31, 2017. That, all right, it's been promptly motion and second. Uh, any questions? All in favor, let it be known by the word aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Those opposed, nay. As has. Excuse me, sir. Make it clear on that, that widening of 95. Uh, from from there to Liberty Church, from 431 to Liberty Church, that's not a city project where there's no money from the city coming out. That's, that's a state project. They're going to widen it and put put the rumble strips on the side of it, which, which uh, make that it is our city limits part of it, but but uh, there's no cost to the city. They're also going to start on a project north of town uh, on 431, probably. Uh, Probably be in the next fiscal year, the early part of the next fiscal year, which is October, um, on 431, from about the industrial park to the to the uh, county line up there. So it's about seven miles total. That part of 431 is starting to deteriorate. We've been on it, so okay. there's no cost to the city on that on that 95 project. So <laughs> it's been properly moved and so that man. Here. All right, next one is resolution 32 2017. That's where the police department want to enter a, into a, a customer agreement with Shrin for the disposals of records. Do we have a question about that? <coughs> All right, I'll make a motion about 32 2017, please. All right, the second. second. All right, it's been properly moved and second. Are there any questions? All in favor, let it be known by the word aye. Aye. Opposes nay. Ayes have it. Motion carried. <coughs> okay, next one is 39. Uh, that's 2017, except in the bid for, for the fiber, fiberglass fish. All right, it's been we have a second? Second. All right, it's been properly moved and second to tailor this into the next council meeting. All in favor, let it be known by the word down. Opposes nay. Has had it. Motion carried. Okay. Public hearing. We got ordinance 2017-7 for its first reading it's on Sunday alcohol sales. Courtney. All right. Um, ordinance 2017-7, an ordinance to amend the code of ordinance of the city of Ufala. Chapter 10 relating to alcoholic alcohol beverages to authorize Sunday alcohol sales in the city of Ufala. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, um, next we have um, uh, public hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, <clears throat> I ask everyone, please be courteous, please be kind, respect the rights of others. Your wish might not be my wish. My wish might not be your wish. But at least I hope we can come together, make a decision, and listen to each other real nicely. We will not have any uh, question and answer. We would like, if you want to speak, we would like for you to give your name, your address. Please come to the podium. Have your set. Please have a seat until so the next person can speak. And you'll have two minutes. Two minutes for each person. Do we have a question on that, please? Okay, the floor is open. Anyone want to speak on the Sunday sales, please raise your hand. And if you're speaking for a group, let us know that. So the same person won't have to say the same thing that his partner just said. Okay, is that clear? Is that clear, everybody? Okay, now, one more thing I need to tell you. We will have two public hearings. The next public hearing will be at the next council meeting. Now, uh, if necessary, I don't think I need to say this, but if necessary, and if we have to go to a third uh, public hearing, we will do that. But the floor is now open for anyone that would like to speak. On Sunday sales. Please raise your hand so you can be recognized. Hmm? Everybody, everybody, so nice. Did I skip? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So we'll move on from that. To the next. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next, we have Resolution 33 2017. This is a weed embankment uh, on South Orange Street. First of all, is anybody here to speak on that particular <coughs> property? I am. Okay. I'll make a motion to remove that one. I have took care. Okay, that particular property on South Orange that belonged to the Rogers have been taken care of. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Cox. We have another weed embankment, Resolution 34-2017, the Baptist Academy Association. That's on Ash Street. Anyone here to speak on that particular property? No. So what's the wishes of the board on resolution 34-2017? I'll make a motion that resolution 34-2017 be adopted and approved, please. All right. Second. All right. It's been properly moved and seconded that resolution 34-2017. All in favor, let it be known by the word aye. Aye. Opposed to the nay. Ayes have it. Motion carried. All right, we have another weed embankment. It's on Ash Street. That's Resolution 35-2017. That's the Mitchell property. Anyone here to speak on the Mitchell <coughs> property? Okay. What's the wishes of the board? Make a motion without Resolution 35-2017. All right. Second. It's been properly moved and second. Any question? All right. 
Resolution. All in favor, let it be known by the word aye. Aye. Opposed, the nay. Ayes have it. Uh, resolution 35-2017 has been approved. All right. Uh, resolution 36-2017. That's another weed embankment that on Wilson Street that belongs to the Hardaways. Anybody here to speak on that particular property? If no, what's the wishes of the council? Make a motion to accept resolution 36, 2017. All right, it's been moved and second. Are there any questions? All in favor, let it be known by the word aye. Opposed or nay. Ayes have it. Motion carried. All right, the next one on Wilson Street, resolution 37 2017. It's another weed abatement belonging to the Walkers. Anyone here from the Walker family? Okay, if not, which we should do counts. Make a motion to adopt 37 27, please. All right. Second. All right, it's been properly moved and seconded. Any question? All in favor, let it be known by the word aye. Opposed or nay? Ayes have it. Motions carried. 37 2017. All right. The last weed embankment we have are uh, the Braziers. Uh, resolution 38-2017. Anyone here from the Brazier family? If not, wish we could get the council. Alright. Alright, it's been properly moved and seconded. Any question? All in favor, let it be known by the word aye. Opposes nay. Ayes have it. Motion carried. Okay. Uh, that concludes that. Next we have, uh, do we have any unfinished business? Okay, if no unfinished business, we go to uh, council action. First we need uh, to talk about uh, consideration of uh, Hobo Pantry store number 19. And uh, they want off premises why? Anyone here to speak on that? They are. Yeah. Yeah. They were uh -huh. told, but I guess they forgot. They don't miss the table. All right. So uh, they own. They own both of them. Both of them, right? Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. So it'll be. Uh, Hobo Pantry 19 and Hobo Pantry 33. So both of those will be tabled. You have to be present. Uh, next, uh, finance. Barbara Blurry. Oh, we're, sir, I'm we are. sorry. We're here. I just did, I don't necessarily, I didn't, wasn't necessarily going to speak. Oh, okay. So he's representing Hi. You, so you're representing the Hobo Pantry? That's correct. Okay. Three of us are here. Okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, that's what we need. Uh, go back. Go back to that. To that. I'm sorry. I misunderstood what you're <laughs> wanting. <clears throat> okay. At Ho uh, Hobo Pantry number 19, you just uh, want wine uh, retail. Yes, sir. So, we, cur we currently have beer. Okay. We want right. to add wine to it. Okay. So they are requesting wine on retail off premises. Uh, and if, if you look at your signatures, it has been signed by the uh, police chief and licensing inspectors and all. So it's in order for three years Make a motion that we grant permission. Second. All right, it's been properly moved and seconded. Any question? All right, congratulations, sir. Motion carried. Motion carried on uh, store number 19. Now we go to store number 33. Thank you, sir. Uh, store number 33, you're looking for um, off premises uh, retail license for beer and wine. And uh, 
It has been properly signed. Fees have been paid. So for sure, it's good. Where is um, Hobo Pantry number 33? The Lakeside Oil used to be. Ronnie, yeah, Ronnie, Ronnie. And, Ronnie and Judy registered on Lakeside Oil. And we, we bought that this last Monday. That's the 3281 30 <coughs> address? Yes, That's sir. correct. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, what should we should vote? All right. All right. It's been properly moved. Who we'll have a second? Second. All right, second. Motion carried, sir. Congratulations. For Southern cooking at its best, it's Michelle's of Georgetown, located on Highway 82 East, just across the bridge in beautiful downtown Georgetown. Michelle's has a daily buffet from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And wait, it's the weekend. On Saturday and Sunday, they have a delicious breakfast buffet from 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. And at 5.30 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, it's one of the largest and freshest seafood buffets that you can find. So for Southern cooking at its best or the freshest seafood buffet around, it's Michelle's of Georgetown, 777 Highway 82 East in Georgetown, Georgia. All times are Eastern. Store 33. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, now, Ms. Perkins. The finances this month, all departments are under budget, and everything's looking good. I think we're going to come in the, the end of the year still under budget the way it's looking right now. And there's, anybody that wants to look, it's, um, I think this, the operating statement is online. Okay. At, we call a, um, a website. Okay. Anything? That's it. Thank you, Ms. Larry. Education library and zone education library zone and in chamber is Christ. I have no report. No report. All right. Parks reparation and airport, Mr. Cox. Keith Keith. Now tell us about the faith. All right. Uh, first, uh, like the mayor said, we're real, really excited about the Reading Technical Playground. It's uh, been a long time going and been a tremendous amount of support, as usual, from the business community and, and volunteers. Uh, I'm very excited how it turned out, I'm proud of it. Um, and I do want to rest y'all's mind. I personally tested all of the equipment to make sure it was still good and safe. So. We've it got pictures. A, it was a hard job. I did. We've got pictures. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's going on Saturday. I mean, Friday at 10 o'clock. We've been cutting in about 10:30, and um, had donations. Walmart donated uh, some, some uh, comments to uh, uh, the hamburgers, and the medical center Barber donated hamburgers. So we'll be the first 150 people there, and uh, Alabama Power. Uh, was donated some water, so it's very, very nice going to have fun. Um, and we're in the middle of All Stars tournament season. Uh, we had one uh, tournament the first of June. Uh, we got one going on now. Uh, they both uh, there's another one that started with this one on Thursday. It ended it yesterday. Uh, really good. It has 11 teams in it. Uh, six teams in the one with this continuing on. There's four left. We follow this play at 6 o'clock. Uh, if they win that game, they'll go and play for the championship tomorrow. Um, we've got three other or two other teams that are still playing. Uh, one is in uh, Samson, 11 year old boys, and 7 uh, and 8-year-old girls are still playing in Wicksburg. Um, our 15 and under, which is 13 and 15 year old boys, uh, they, last weekend they played in Dothan at, at uh, Alabama State Games and didn't do real well. Well, something must have changed because they showed up this week, started out Thursday night, uh, Saturday, Sunday, was 4-0 going into Sunday, played for the championship. They did come up short, but they qualified to go to the World Series, which is in Independence, Louisiana, uh, June, July the 20th. Uh, the Angels, uh, they played, uh, there, there's two different divisions in the Angels play, and, and the division that they play, I uh, didn't have any pick, uh, players around in Alabama, so they qualified just automatically to go to the World Series. It's also in Louisiana. So uh, we have some teams traveling, and uh, very excited, and 
Y'all have your free time after the meeting tonight. Love to have you sit in and watch it. It's very exciting. It's super cool. And if anybody can show up uh, or able to, to attend the reading tapes Friday for play tonight, please come. Thank you. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Cox? That's it. All right. Uh, Street sanitation in the cemetery, Mr. Rogers. Uh, Mayor, whenever most other things are doing, all the work on the sidewalks and streets and everything, the tennis groups are doing a good job and everything's going according to plan. Okay, okay. And if you notice in your, uh, in your package, uh, you find out that your police, re your police department is checking everything from speeding to switching tags. And they have gotten over 2,098 calls. Somebody working. And uh, just want to tell you, Chief, I thank you all for doing an excellent job. Keep up the good work. And other uh, chief back there, you know I wouldn't forget you for nothing. Everything going on good. I stopped by the two days to holler at you, and I'll see you probably Thursday of this week. But I got your report. Everything is in order. And uh, everything is working out good. Thank you. Mr. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I didn't see Sally here. I just didn't know she had an announcement for the chamber. Tommy Splunk. I'm good. You're good. <laughs> Are you sure? Enjoy working with Mark We're looking forward to the big um, the playground okay. um, on, on, uh, on Friday. Yeah. Get your Friday out. Yeah. 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 I read an article in the paper that I think hopefully right. all of y'all read. So we'll just keep the meeting short. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay. With that in mind. Motion we adjourn. Okay. It's been properly moved. Y'all, please come back next month. Welcome to Old Mexico. Old Mexico features great food, an adult beverage bar, and nightly specials in our family restaurant. Happy hour is from 4:30 until 7 p.m. six days a week. Our phone number is 334-687-7770. Old Mexico, located at 1248 South Eufaula Avenue. Hours are 11 to 2 and 430 until 9, Monday through Wednesday. Open till 10 on Thursday through Saturday and 11 until 9 p.m. on Sunday. Old Mexico features the best authentic Mexican food with banquet and large party room that can be reserved. Old Mexico, unique to Eufaula, 1248 South Eufaula Avenue. Old Mexico, celebrating 24 years of business by owner Santiago and Salome Solerio.